everybody welcome back so next step so in the previous video we did the final preliminary work of drilling the holes getting everything ready for the side actual side indicators or side markers turn indicators whatever you want to call it so in this one we should be going to the stage where it says mounting mounting the plate for the daytime running light which is the tick part Put the white panes in the in, in the light inserts from the back side. The sooty side, so there is actually, I don't know if you can see it, this, yeah, this thing is dirty on one side. So I think that's where the laser smoke comes up because it must be cut facing that way down. Sooty side faces the back, see picture five. So the sooty side to the back of the lens, so they're looking at this that way around. Ironically, they start showing you drilling on the left indicator and then they show you the same as I'm doing. The right hand side is the one you're actually assembling. And it says the soot can be cleaned off with a damp cloth. Do not interchange the cleaned panes. So, I'm not sure why they give you two. They should show one in there and then another one there. And they are made labelled. You can see that. R. right and the other one is labeled left so and then so what we need to do with a long small object for example a knife without the sharp tip push the plane cautiously into the opening preliminary push on the side of the lower end of the vertical part so they're saying on this part here that the lower end of the vertical part here see picture six and so you can see here they've got a long knife and they're using it to push the iron down we can use a screwdriver my tweezers might work they might be thin enough to go down the groove maybe not if not i do have a craft knife we just have to be careful of the tip also push all of the areas continuously to keep the pain from cracking push until the vertical part of the pane is flush with the front light insert caution do not attempt to push the pane in this slight in a single spot all the way to the front so do not literally just go pop it in and right push it from the middle push it with then you've got to have to literally work your way along work it in work it in work it in until it comes up there for better optical seating of the pane it's possible to put a little bit it is possible to put a little bit of glue just emphasize a little bit of glue in the vertical part on the upper edge of the horizontal part of the pane from the back so what they're saying there is once you've got it in you can put a little bit of glue along this edge here just to keep it in place but from what I'm understanding the way they're saying is we're going to push this in and pretty much once it's in it's not going anywhere so after that we'll be moving on to the light thing. so let's crack on with this one to see if we can get this done in this video and then we can move on from there so as I say we're doing the right hand one so let's get the right hand I don't know if you can see this but there is I'm gonna put a little square of sellotape on here so rather than trying to pull them out I'm going to peel the tape off because as they say they are brittle I'm guessing they break quite easily they're actually made out of like a it's almost like a hard plastic, I'm not quite sure what it is. Maybe um, it's the best plastic to be that is translucent. As you can see, this tape really is. I'm going to lay it flat on the bench rather than it pulling the parts at a weird angle, we can keep the part flat. And pull the tape away. Let's get rid of that. Over here. So now we have this. Oh, look, they just fall out. We have two. So that's the sooty side, and that's the clean side. So I don't know if you can see on here, there is a little keyway just here. So that needs to line up with that keyway there. So we need to push this all the way down here. Now they show it laying on the bench, so I'm going to use the back of the manual. I'll tell you what, what do I do? Excuse me a second. 
help maybe help with the lighting and what's going on. Let's use a piece of paper and this may actually end up making it too bright and not being able to see what we're doing. So there's the city side. The city side is from the back. Now nothing to do with city and sweep, just the city side. So you can see that this is actually slightly longer than it needs to be. Which I think is why they say you have to put it in and push it down. So I'm hoping that that goes in here. Yeah, let me just check something. You can see roughly what they're going to look like when they're finished. It's like a nice white diffuser inside this chamber. Just check that these are identical because it might be that one is slightly smaller which you put in first and then the other one behind. Yep, they are identical. I think they, you either insert two or they give you a spare. They don't say to insert two. So, let's see what we can do here. That is, I don't know if you can see, if that's in the keyway, that is too long. Because if I put that in the corner, it overhangs that keyway. So I'm guessing it needs to go in with that point. Sorry, I'm trying to see because my camera's in the way of my face. I'm guessing that point needs to be down. That needs to be in here. That needs to be there. And there you go. So yeah, once you've got it hit at a slight angle, and as you can see it's all the way down on the front all the way down here but up the back here so laying that on here what I do I should do is I should use my other knife because this has got a slight more blunt so what they're saying is don't push the point down use the back of the knife or if you are going to use the blade push consistently on the back now hopefully I won't stick my head in the camera and This really doesn't want to go down. If my tweezers will fit in there. Certainly the back of my tweezers might be really good. They look like... Oh, you can look at that. That would be nice. That will fit in there quite nicely. They've got a nice rounded edge. Yeah, this is really seriously tight. Oh, I think the reason it's like that is this is a curve. So I think what's going to happen is the edge of the plastic, it's too long. As it goes in, it will curl up the edge and end up matching up with this curve. So let's see if we can get it to go down in this corner. There you go, it's looking better. You can see. Now, I don't know how far we need to go down because this is still chrome inside this edge. It doesn't look like it because of the black ring in the edge around it. But if that was lit, it would certainly light the rest of that area up. We'll just give it another push anyway. Just to see. So say, because in the manual they don't show you a picture of it finished. I'll tell you what to do. Don't show you what the result is. So as you can see, where I'm pushing this edge down here, this edge is still up. It's still curving up. But that keyway there is stopping it slipping, which is why I think they put that key on. Otherwise, this would just literally flip up out the way. So as you can see, it's almost up here. We need a bit more at the end there because it's not quite there, and we need a bit more there. So using the tip of my tweezers now. Yeah say one because two won't go in there is we can just use that to ease that down and if you can hear it but it makes horrible noises really squeaky noises so we've got a nice edge there now that whole chrome has gone white where this white plastic is so let's see if we can get this last little bit to keep 
going down. So that pretty much has stopped there. There you go. See, it's flush there, not there and not there. So there is a slight gap and it's just starting to push back from there. But they do get you to paint that little part there. So that bit there should cover anything that's slipping out, even though it's up higher here than it is there. Once the lens is on, we should have it with something like that. And I may give you a quick light up just so you can see how this panel lights before we get to the whole lighting up video. So that's flush to there. That is a nodule to line up that to that little lump there. So if you can see it, there's a lump just here. It's to stop that glass going all the way back. Because the glass lines up against that little bit there. So we end up with like that. Now the, the body over here, you can't see it. This part here will keep this trim in place and then these will line up with the screw holes. So I think that is reason successful. Now I could maybe get a bit more out the top end up here. It's got a little more. There you go, I don't know if you can see. So I say there is a slight gap under here, but that should be covered by the lens. And it's all the way up here, all the way up here, and it is quite flush now. It's amazing how it fits, but it does. There's a few bits of black on there, I think that's just literally, excuse me, bits of black dust. So what we will end up with, when I grab my little light, is we will end up with that there and that on there. Just because I'm interested as well, I want to see if this needs pushing down, if we're going to get too much light escaping. Let's grab a battery. As I said, you do not need resistors on these, you can power them up directly. Just remember to put the red into red here in our little XT connector. And we need which wire is it? For the daylight running lights. Daylight running lights are pink. So we get our pink wire, which is here, and we shove it in there. Yeah. So that's actually all they do is that. I'll turn the light off on my camera. Excuse me, the camera may wobble for a second. So there are the lights lit up without the diffuser. With the diffuser you end up with that. Now if you look down the side here you can see the LEDs which actually gives you quite a nice effect. And so you don't get much light escaping around there and certainly with the lens on you're not going to see much at all. So excuse me so there might be a wobble. Let's put the light back on. My camera is attached to my light so that is why things wobble. Get rid of the battery. Let's get rid of this. Just to say, keep hold of that. Get rid of the lens because we do not need that. So we've now completed this part now. Uh, so it says put the glue in. So if you are somebody that does run a vibration unit, it may shake this out. So I have poly cement here, but this is basically the same thing. It's Airfix glue, model glue. Uh, let me just check this is still running because I haven't used this glider in a little while. Maybe using the other one because it looks like this one might be blocked. It is. So, we just get rid of my paper. I don't think we need paper now. I just didn't want to scratch this pushing on the bench here. So what I will do 
is I just have a clear lid here, which is off a pot. Do a bit of this on here. And because we only need a little bit, a little bead here. Pick this up on my tweezers and then run it in that bottom edge there. Let's get up the blade part, drop the tweezer down. I don't know why they say to increase the light effect, whether there's the one about the light escaping down the side, but to me this seems like it's more like it would hold it in rather than gain light from it. doesn't say to put something down there, I've just got a little bit extra in between. So all I've done, you can just about see it, there's a thin bead of shiny glue just along there on the inside edge. So that's that part done. So we have our diffuser or lens or whatever you'd like to call it mounted. Just give my tweezers a clean. So we have completed this steps five, six and seven. So I shall leave it there because I'm up to a 16 minute video now. So next steps will be to break apart this, which looks like it's been resin printed. It looks very, very nice, very nice quality. Um, and break off the various parts, drop them into the various holes and then we are ready to mount them on the back. So let me stop the video there and I shall see you at the next step.